Precious friends, precious family, how are you doing today? God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. I thank and praise God for this wonderful opportunity to share God's word with you once again. Our God is a good God. You know, like we all have our own dreams, desires, aims and goals, ambitions. Even God has. Are you aware of that? God has his own dreams, his own likes, his own pleasures. Let's see, what are they? In the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, we read like this. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You got it? So God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son, which is Jesus, to be sacrificed on the cross of Calvary. For what? So that no one can perish. No one should perish. But we all should have what? Everlasting life. That is God's dream. In, in the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, we read like this. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise, as some count as slowness, but he is patient with, with us, not wishing that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see, since childhood, I have been hearing, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, get ready, repent, get baptized, live a holy life, anytime Jesus may come. I've been hearing that since many years now, but until now, that did not take place. You know why? Because of God's love for us. Every day, God is dreaming. God is waiting. God is expecting. How many souls I'm going to get today? How many souls I'm going to get today? How many souls I'm going to get today? He's waiting like that. That's what he, the, the word says this. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise about Jesus' return, as some count as slowness, but he is patient with us, not wishing that anyone should perish. You see, the heart of God is that. Not wishing that anyone should perish, but all should come to repentance. You see, God's heart is that everyone should come to heaven. You got it? In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 32, we read like this. Far, God says, far, I have no pleasure. God says that I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, says the Lord. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live. God says that I have no pleasure in people dying without getting saved. I have no pleasure in people going to hell. I have no pleasure in people walking into eternal condemnation. God says that I have no pleasure. And he is warning and he is giving us wisdom, saying that, Turn yourself, repent, and live forever. Dream of God. In the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 20, we read like this. God says that our conversation is in heaven. You see, God prepared heaven for mankind. Yes, that is for us. That is for us. And in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4, God says like this, In heaven, Four prominent things won't be there. What are they? There won't be tears. There won't be pain. There won't be sorrows. And there won't be death. You got it? How wonderful that would be. We need to, that, that's the reason God says that meditate upon my word day and night. We need to visualize. Then only we will understand. See, these are the four prominent things we find in the earth. Everywhere in this world, these are the four prominent things. The moment we get up, until we go to bed, we experience these four things. Yes, tears, pain, sorrows, and of course, so many times, situation like life and death. You got it? These are prominent in earth, but these won't be there in heaven. Under the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 29, God says 
something so wonderful. God has made man upright. God has made man neutral. But they have sought out many inventions. You see, God doesn't want us to be like robots. He doesn't want us to be programmed by him. God is talking about freedom, endless freedom. You know, you can choose and you can decide for yourself and God honors it. God has given us all information in his word, in the Holy Bible. He said everything. He says that, my son, if you do this, 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 this will take place. If you do that, 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 that will take place. God is waiting at the entrance of heaven to welcome us. We can go, we can walk into heaven or we can reject and we can go to hell. It's a choice. It's a choice. You might be wondering, how can that be possible? Yes, brother. Yes, sister. Yes, friend. There are people, even now, very many times we saw, we saw those kind of people. Whatever you give, even if you give your life, they may not be happy. Yes, yes. That's what we saw in heaven. In heaven, nothing lacking, nothing broken. Everything is there in heaven. And from there only, Lucifer chose to come down. He wanted to raise above God and God pushed him down. He was not happy. He was not satisfied. Though he had everything in heaven. You see, it's a choice. In the garden of Eden, everything was there. God told Adam, you can eat anything and everything you want except that one tree. He had several other trees. Maybe thousands or lakhs of trees. Maybe, maybe. He could have enjoyed all those fruits. And he said, only one tree. He said, don't do that. And exactly, Adam chose to do that. It's a choice. We read about Absalom, the son of David. He was living in the palace. Everything was there. But yet, he was not satisfied. My brother, my sister, my friend, until we die on this earth, there will be tears. There will be pains. There will be sorrows. And finally, there will be death. But in heaven, these things won't be there. God doesn't want to treat us like robots. He wants to treat us like his own children. He has given us freedom. He said, my son, my daughter, choose for yourself. Choose for yourself. Until we live, that right to choose we can exercise. Yes, after that, that will be lost forever. You got it? That is the reason every day, every day, every day, the children of God are warning and encouraging the world to turn to Jesus, to accept him as Lord and Savior, to take immersion baptism, to live a holy life in order to be ready for departure. We never know when the death may meet us. You got it? Brother, here in the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 31, God shares his love as a father-son relationship. Look at here. God, the father says, father says unto the son, the elder son, you are ever with me. This is about the parable of the prodigal son. In that God, in that parable, God says this. He was talking to the elder son. He was telling, you are ever with me and all that I have is yours. You see, the father says that to his son, all that I have is yours. You got it? And what he wants, he expects us to be with him forever and ever. That's the dream of a father. That's the dream of a parent. Yes, brother, if you have children, you will know what I mean. Our great pleasure is to see that our children are smiling. Our children are safe. Our children are happy. Our children are good. Our children are performing. This is what a dream of a father, a mother, a good parent. This might be their dreams. And God, our heavenly father, has got his own dreams. What is that? To see that every one of us, all mankind, to walk into heaven. To live a life without tears. 
a life without pain, a life without sorrows, a life without death, forever and ever and ever. You might be wondering, then why, if God can give all those things, why now all these things? Why now pain? Why now tears? Why now sorrows? Why now death on earth? You might be wondering, you might be thinking, I also thought the same long ago. Brother, sister, my friend, God wants us to qualify. He says that, why do you want that in heaven? How do you want to be that in heaven? Because in heaven, there are greatness. People can be small and great in heaven. There are ranks in heaven. In order to be qualified, you need to listen to God now. Listen to Bible and choose for yourself. There are rewards in heaven. There are treasures in heaven which can be earned and generated only now on this earth. It's a choice. It's a personal choice, my brother, my sister, my friend. And God wants you to choose and decide for yourself. And in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 32, God says like this, He that spared not his own son, God, spared not his own son, Jesus, but delivered him up for all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? He says that God delivered his own son, Jesus, up on the cross for us all and he is questioning us if I can give my own son to be sacrificed for you will I hold any other thing for you what a great question heartbreaking isn't it how emotional God has gone to and he's asking us he's saying that think he said stop and think for a moment if I can give my only son only son to be killed in the place of you and I. God is questioning us, asking us, will I hold any other thing for you? My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves us so much. God loves us so much. God loves us so much. That is the reason God is sharing his heart in his word, in the Holy Bible. God loved the world so much, he says. And God says that he is delaying the return of Jesus just because he expects everyone to repent and walk into heaven. And he says that he has no pleasure in anyone dying without Jesus. And he says that our conversation is in heaven. Our long home is in heaven. That is, our long home is heaven. And he says that there won't be tears, there won't be pain, there won't be sorrows, there won't be death in heaven. And God says that that is waiting for you. And God says that whatever is his, he says it is yours. Because we are sons. We are daughters of this loving, amazing God. He said, it's all yours. It's all yours. And on the earth, just for a short while, we will be dead and gone very soon. Once that happens, after that, we will be with God. We will be united with God. And we will live with God forever and ever. And God is questioning, if I can give my own son to be killed, to be sacrificed, to be punished in your place, Will I hold any other thing for you? My brother, my sister, my friend, God is not like our earthly fathers. God is not weak. God is not poor. God is not unwise. God cannot lie. God cannot change. God is impartial. God loves us so much. These are the wonderful promises of God. My brother, my sister, my friend, if you want to enter into heaven, if you want to have your eternal life in heaven, decide today, decide today, decide today. It is between you and God. You forget about all those people around you. Accept Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Take immersion baptism in the name of Jesus and choose to live a holy life according to the Holy Bible and go share this salvation message with others so that no, you can win souls and you can earn rewards in heaven. And whatever possible, try to help the poor people so that you can have treasures in heaven as well. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, 
May God be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah.